My name is Nancy Graff. I am in Cleveland, Ohio. And I've been an Elvis fan since I was nine years old and I saw Elvis on TV back in Ed Sullivan days. My most special personal memory, I came down to Memphis with two friends in December of 1971 between Christmas and Elvis's birthday. And we went to the Crosstown Theater and couldn't get into the theater, so we were waiting in the back in the parking lot. There was a vehicle back there with the Circle G logo on it, and we knew that Elvis and Priscilla were inside at the movies. And we were waiting and waiting, and it was kind of misty, and everyone felt you know, kind of dozed off in the car. All of a sudden, we heard a little commotion, and here comes Elvis and his group walking alongside the building back to their car. And I just got out of the car like in a fog, and I had a gift in one hand, and a camera in the other hand, and I just walked over by his car, and one of the guys says, you know, no, not tonight, honey, you know, everyone's tired, and so I'm like, oh, okay. So I was just standing there beside his car. Elvis himself rolled the window down to say hello to me, and I gave, handed him a gift, and I said, you know, happy birthday. I was a nervous wreck, and he said, thank you. And I, and I looked at him, and I said, may I kiss you? So he said, he kind of leaned through the window a little bit and I put my right hand on his left cheek and I kissed him on the right cheek. And I can still remember he had a little stubble because it was really late at night and rolled up the window. And, but I mean, the fact that he took the time after he had the protection, the cushion to just, you know, drive off. He just saw one person standing there and he just took the time to say hello. And after that, I saw many, many concerts and have other special moments from concerts. I have several scarves. Never got a kiss from the stage, but that one personal encounter is just the most awesome moment of my life. And a lot of people will say, well, you know, everyone will say, well, don't you wish, wouldn't you, what would you give to be 10 years younger? And I say, nothing, because I wouldn't have been old enough to have been in that spot at that time in history, and I cherish it all.